quick disclaimer remember that everything i say in this video is my opinion so don't get mad about what i say i'm pointing at the screen like you guys can see me pointing hey yo welcome everybody to another video part of game raiders week four we are here and we're gonna be doing a terraria potions tier list now we gotta go over some baselines here before we get into the tier list because obviously when you go into the quote-unquote potion section on the terraria wiki they have a lot of things listed here a little a little too many to be honest for example they have all the foods and drinks in the potion section and personally i feel like this should have its own section but you know i guess to make everything more condensed and easier to find they just put it here i mean i guess that's fine but for this video specifically i'm only doing everything here all of these items and potions as you can see there's more than just potions for example mushroom bottled honey bottled water eggnog honey fin horn of plenty strange brew you know they don't exactly say potion at the end but i'm gonna include them anyways because you know they're in this section same thing when we scroll down and go to buff potions i'm including every single thing from here including the uh 3ds and uh, mobile exclusive wizen brow we're not including flask they might have their own video same thing with the food items but we are including other potions which include gender change recall teleportation wormhole and the dreaded red potion but yeah those are gonna be the rules because either way somebody's gonna complain about something about why i left certain things out oh flask they do the same thing as potions pretty much why did you leave them out sound like yogi the big <laughs> yeah if i did include everything that's quote unquote considered a potion then there would be a lot more things to go over i'd have to add all of these i'd have to go to the food section because apparently the food stuff are considered potions i know they give you buffs i don't know but you know we're going with what i set up here so that is recovery potions buff potions and then other potions those are the ones that i'm including if you don't agree with it if you don't like how i'm making my list get the fuck out of here we don't need you here go make your own list or something but yeah let's do it it's time to go it's time to go so the tiers i have is s a b c d and f f for pure trash s for pure amazing i don't know but here are all of the potions okay hopefully i can remember each and every single one because i'll be honest i don't really use every potion potions you know for some people they're a main part of terraria for them you know like getting all the crafting recipes and stuff but for me i'm more of like a iron skin heart reach regen that's all i need that's the type of potion person i am so let's start off with the first one on this list that might be a little bit hard to see the ammo conservation potion now i feel like this is a potion even as a ranger that you don't necessarily need you don't really necessarily need any potion at all but given that you know most people they always grab iron skin regen all that in their playthroughs and of course healing potions you know ammo conservation is just one that always slips my mind i'm gonna put that in the middle you know it's a good potion but there's already an ammo box and probably if you know you got a certain armor set your ammo is not really gonna be that big of a problem so we're gonna put that dead in the middle well as middle as i can get c it's okay you know i pick it up every now and then it's not it's not a mainstay but moving on to the next one i believe this is archery coming up next archery i feel like it's the same thing but archery is a little bit better than the ammo conservation because i don't think ammo conservation gives you damage does it is this even the archery potion <laughs> i don't know it's hard to tell the the pictures aren't cropped enough but boom we'll put that one in b moving on to the next one battle potion now the battle potion really great potion obviously i don't think it's the greatest it's not s tier but it's definitely a tier especially if you don't have any mods installed that increase uh spawn rate you know that's the go-to spawn rate increaser we get to these two bottled water we'll put a d tier you know nobody really uses it like that honestly bottled water i don't know maybe it should go c tier but if no 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 i'm thinking about like bottled water how it's used to make potions right but in this case we're thinking about how good the potion is so i think d tier is fair you know i never see people actually use it nobody min maxes the game that hard to get bottled water because by then you already have you know the lesser healing potions bottled honey same thing i'm thinking d tier because you know by the time you're probably getting bottled honey you have the chance to get your hands on honey fins so there's no point in really you know using that as a main drinking slash healing source moving on builder's potion now i had some recent experience with builder potion i was like maybe i should start using these potions more so i used them more right and i've noticed i don't know if it was a bug or something but i've noticed it says increases range for building it's like a one block increased range now it does increase range but it's a builder potion you'd expect at least like five blocks further you can place this shit increased my range by like half a block like it's ass i'm putting it in d tier i'm sorry for all my builders out there be honest though do you really use these or, or do you just say you use these because i i don't think i see people use these at all moving on to the calming potion now the calming potion i don't, I don't really know how to feel about it I, i'm gonna just say either b or c tier because like i feel like the recipe for calming potion is a little bit harder because you need like a damsel fish and you know by then you probably have a pinky to make a peace candle i'll put it in b just because if you don't have pinky 
pinky like pink gel to make a peace candle this is your next best thing moving on to a, a pretty good potion here the crate potion now i'm gonna give this i don't know s tier or a tier because this is a really good potion i'm gonna say a tier because getting crates is very very important if you're doing anything with fishing because crates are extremely overpowered especially if you keep a bunch of crates from pre-hard mode and then save them for hard mode boom that's like you just completely skip mining you know the first three tiers of hard mode ores now moving on to a little more of an underrated one in my opinion but definitely not needed at all or that helpful it's just danger sense you know if you're one of those people that find yourself running into traps all the time then danger sense could be useful for you but i don't know it's one of those potions that like if i find it underground in like a chest i just drink it to get rid of it like get it out of my inventory so i'm gonna put it in c even though i do think it's an underrated potion it can be very helpful especially for finding spider nests but it's not the craziest thing moving on to eggnog now eggnog i think how much does it heal it heals like 80 health but this thing's not too bad it's a healing potion so automatically goes to that no i'm kidding it goes we'll say like c tier it's okay given that it's a specific holiday thing and if you're not playing with the mods you kind of don't run into this until like the christmas time moving on to one of my favorite potions the endurance potion this is a good potion this is a good potion and it's fairly easy to fish or get the materials for because all you need is blink root and uh, armored cave fish and you know I, this is one of those potions i do use some playthroughs next to you know heart reach reach gen and uh iron skin so i'm gonna give this an a tier notice that i haven't given any s tiers out yet you'll see the s tiers will come you will see all right moving on to featherfall i hate featherfall featherfall is ass cheeks unless you're using it to go down a hellhole but you should already have like rope going down the hellhole or something because uh featherfall is just not fun falling like that you know there's some like wings and armor sets that give you like featherfall and modded terraria for example the grovite wings from uh, the g realm mod those give you featherfall that shit is ass cheeks feather fall is not a fun thing it's not that good i'm gonna give it a c tier i don't think it's worth the f tier but i can see that it does have uses here and there uh, personally i just don't like it moving on to the fishing skills potion this one just raises your fishing skill that i mean just put it in b tier might as well you know it's not really the greatest potion but it's not the worst moving on to the flipper potion this potion can be pretty good uh depends on what accessories you have but since there's no terraria vanilla boss that forces you to fight it in the ocean you know like forces you to stay on underwater you may be like duke fishron duke fishron can fucking fly out of the water perfectly you're not forced to fight it down there but yeah this i'm gonna say c tier it's not really that important you can move fast underwater i mean how many people spend that much time underwater moving on to sort of a weird potion here and a potion that i find myself using like once or twice ever and that is the gender change potion now this potion i, I don't know bro I, like i would say d tier because like unless you really it would probably be s tier to you if you really wanted to change your gender the thing is i never find myself really wanting to change my gender in terraria because it doesn't give any benefits or you don't lose anything for changing your gender but yeah other than that it's nothing crazy i barely use it moving on to the gills potion now this one i'm gonna definitely put in the a tier because the gills potion if you really do need to do something underwater is useful and i find these potions useful for uh mods so that's why you know i'm putting it up here me like gamers you didn't put the flipper potion up there you don't really need the flipper potion to go underwater the gills potion you don't really need to go underwater if you have some way to breathe but you know it's a potion i've used a lot for example uh when i play thorium the thorium mod i go into the aquatic depths i usually use the gills potion if i don't have the uh, pendant yet you know the pendant that allows you to breathe underwater moving on to the gravity potion this for sure is an a tier thing one of the best ways to find sky islands that's it now we are moving on here i think this is just greater here healing and not the super healing potion this one for sure an s tier it's one it's the second highest healing potion you can get in hard mode and it's probably the one you're gonna use through a good majority of the game same thing with obviously the healing potion i think pretty much like most of the healing items are gonna be up here in the s tier another one that you use these two specifically you use for a good chunk of the game and same thing with the mana potion this thing and then we'll take this mana potion too so all four of those they go into s tier because you know these are the ones you use a lot mana potions i obviously find myself using it a lot less but uh no isn't this one uncraftable and you can only get from like loot so I, I, don't, I don't really know maybe that's an a tier but we'll, we'll keep them all up there just 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 because they're pretty much the same moving on to our first s tier buff potion that is right heart reach it reaches for hearts really useful you can set up you know statue hearts or heart statues and you, you guys know already come on that's s tier now moving on to the honey fin now the honey fin extremely good thing to get in pre-hard mode but the only problem is that you know you gotta fish it and it takes a little 
little time to fish it especially vanilla terraria you know if you're playing modded terraria you get a lot of more things to do with fishing get a lot more loot from fishing and uh you know this thing is probably easier to get with mods but if you're playing vanilla terraria it's a little bit harder we're gonna put it in a tier though because it's still a really good healing device moving on to the horn of plenty now i have no personal experience with the horn of plenty i know it's really good though and it's infinite on mac a tier i would even say s tier i know a lot of you play mobile i'm gonna put it in s tier that's for my mobile people because i know this thing can be really useful i barely have experience with it i just know it's infinite and i know it heals a good amount of health all right we're gonna pick up the speed a little bit here because i looked at how long i've been recording and it's around 15 minutes I don't know what the video is going to be at though because obviously i haven't edited the video yet so it might be like 10 minutes or something we're at right now but yeah let's pick up the speed a little bit moving on to this potion right here what is this the hunter potion yeah this is the hunter potion this potion i find very useful i'll put it in b tier nothing really necessary uh moving on inferno potion c tier barely use it never use it to be honest i think what is this invisibility same thing with this it can be useful you know when catching a truffle worm but barely use it put it in c tier iron skin the beautiful iron skin potion of course put that in s tier come on now we move on here to the lesser healing mana and regen potion uh, is that what this is called what's this potion called the pink one restoration so boom we're gonna put all of these in a tier just because they are the lesser versions still they're pretty good you do use these for a decent amount of playthrough actually it's not that true you can get healing potions right away but yeah these are pretty good especially the restoration potion how it does mana and health always a good potion but i don't know i find myself never using it. moving on to life force life force is a definite s tier you literally get more health we got right here the, the what is this thing i don't the love potion this thing i'm putting in f tier this is our first f tier this is this one and the stink potion two of the most useless ones they're literally novelty items that's what they're listed on the wiki I'm, i think they were listed under novelty items now i don't know i wish that these did something like somebody told me one time if you throw a love potion at an npc their, their prices are cheaper and someone said if you throw a stink potion their prices get more expensive i don't know somebody told me that a long time ago i tested it out it didn't work but you know that'd be interesting if these actually did something and i really feel like they should do something because they're really cool moving on to uh what is this one i don't know what's the purple one magic power and then this one is mana regen these ones I i'm gonna put them in a tier because if you're playing as a mage they're very very good nice little buffs to have so we're gonna put them in a tier our a tier is filling up bro moving on mining potion now this one i don't find myself using too often the only time i find myself using a mining potion is if you know i get it from chest or loot and it's just in my inventory that's that's the only way the only reasons why i'd use it i would never craft it and use it personally so i'm gonna put it in b tier moving Moving on to the mushroom that's going straight into f tier because you really don't really use these for anything because by the time you use you know healing for anything you, you probably find a lesser healing potion from like a pot or something moving on to the night owl potion i'll put this in like b tier because you know i do use the night owl potion and the shine potion a lot we'll put both of them in b tier obviously not really that useful in terms of anything else besides just giving you light so we'll do that moving on obsidian skin this can either be considered an S tier or an A tier. We're going to say A tier. Uh, hopefully my list isn't being messed up now because I am rushing it a little bit. But I'll say A tier because these are extremely useful for fighting not only the wall of flesh, for not only just exploring in hell, for not only just, you know, mining hellstone. It's useful for a bunch of things down under in hell or slash the underworld, whatever you want to call it. So we'll put it in A tier. Moving on to the rage potion. Now I'm going to put this definitely in A tier because having critical strike chance go up is always a good thing. Like most of these potions, personally, I don't find myself using it, but we'll put it down there we're gonna move this down here uh moving on the recall potion this is also an a tier use it a lot you know before you get a magic mirror this is one of the potions that you're mainly using to get back home or you can save an exit but you know if you don't want to save an exit boom recall potion it is moving on to a beauty one of my favorite potions definitely top three potions right here next to iron skin and heart reach the regen potion i always use this it has an easy recipe very similar to the recipe of iron skin boom that's an s tier for me we're moving on to the the better restoration i think this is just called restoration potion isn't it now like i said earlier i don't find myself using restoration potions and i really wish they added you know greater one greater variants because i feel like i would late game if they added in greater greater variants but i could see for a mage this being really useful never really use these potions they're cool idea is cool but never find myself using them we'll put it in a tier though because that is pretty good for a mage moving on to i believe what is this the sonar potion i think yeah this is the sonar potion this thing kind of sucks if i'm being honest i don't really use it for fishing at all unless you know 
it's a part of my like accessory set or something something from my accessories give me gives me the bonus i'll say b tier and i'll say c tier because like does it really matter what fish you have on the line because usually i just get all the fish it doesn't matter what type of fish they are even if it's seaweed like if you get seaweed and mods like that that probably has a crafting recipe when you have mods installed moving on splunker potion definite s tier this thing has saved me a lot of time finding chest and ore so that's a guaranteed s tier moving on to the strange brew uh, same thing with like the restoration potions strange brew is good but it's something i don't find myself ever using even on a mage character i'll put it in a tier though because you know i'm considering people that play mages you know there's like five different potion types that mages can use here moving on to thorns thorns is an a tier you know i would put it to s tier because this is a potion i actually find myself using every now and then but it's nothing crazy we'll put it in a tier for now now moving on to the super healing and the super mana potion obviously these are both s tier more mana more healing is beautiful why would you not want more let's put them like here you know make it make it look better there we go okay moving on to the swiftness potion i i think we're gonna put this in a tier even though the swiftness potion is a potion i find myself using a lot it's more of an accident that i find myself using it a lot it's usually because i just have the swiftness potion on me so that's why i use it now the random teleportation potion not useful at all kind of this thing can go either like it could be really useful or it can be barely useful so i'm gonna put it in b tier because I, this is something i find myself using a lot surprisingly but you know it's just a, just a mess around it's not really for any like progression or anything if you get lucky though say it teleports you to hell and you wanted to go to hell well there you go so my mistake here the thorns potion and the summoning potion i accidentally switched around summoning potion we're gonna put in b tier uh really good for summoners but i, I don't know i barely play summoners so it doesn't really matter to me thorns potion goes there my bad for the mistake but uh hopefully i fixed the mistake in time before the i get 100 comments about it moving on to the titan potion this is a good potion we're putting it in a tier moving on to the warmth is that how you say that warmth warmth potion this potion never used put it in d tier it has its uses but i never use it at all I, I'm, I'm pretty sure other people don't really use it that often next up water walking potion this one i'm gonna put in b tier because it is kind of useful you know you can walk on the surface of the ocean if you need to fight a boss there you can uh, walk on lava which is also really good walk on honey which is good so you know that that has a decent amount of uses we'll put it in the b tier now moving on to the wizen brow now i have no idea what the wizen brow does i know it gives you a buff similar to ale is what i'm assuming all right so i just looked it up apparently it gives you 30 second damage immunity and you do less damage though during the 30 seconds so that's like extremely good that's that's really good 30 seconds that's i'm putting this in s tier bro and it also looks like a you know das boot if you guys ever watch a vat 19 back in the day das boot is that how you say that the wizen brow though that that's pretty good i like that hopefully hopefully consularia adds that to a you know pc the consularia month that would be nice moving on wormhole potion i'll put that in a tier extremely useful now i'll put it in b tier extremely useful kind of annoying to craft in multiplayer but it is extremely useful in multiplayer i always find myself having troubles crafting them and i usually just find them but yeah on to our last two rage potion this is an a tier thing rage potion is really good and of course last but not least the red potion we all know what this does and if you don't i'll tell you the red potion you know it's an unobtainable potion you can only get it via cheats or via if a mod adds it in through like a crafting recipe but yeah it inflicts the darkness poison cursed on fire weak confused slow silence broken armor bleeding and suffocation debuffs on the player that consumed it and uh you know would we consider this an s tier because i feel like you could probably like prank one of your friends with it you know what i'm saying so yeah i'm thinking that this is definitely an f tier because this shit's garbage <laughs> but yeah there you go there is my tier list you know maybe i messed up here and there because i had to speed up and make it fast because there's a lot of potions um i might do a separate video for flask and food uh, because i know people will probably want them but yeah let me know what you guys think remember this is just my opinion you don't have to be butt hurt by it because i know how you guys get and uh i know you can be like game raiders i don't get butt hurt but yeah maybe the guy co commenting behind you is butt hurt about it but yeah don't get too butt hurt just an opinion i will leave the link to this in the description because i did make this tier list and i will leave it in the description uh in, in the comment section maybe and if you follow me on twitter go ahead send me your guys's tier list like send me the picture of this tier list that you just did show me what your ranking is for all these potions and uh maybe in the next tier list video i'll, I'll put that in there i don't know but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i will see y'all next time